Well, welcome back, my friends. Uh, Andrew Coke here, and we're doing uh, Dr. Terror, stages 11 and 12 on this episode. Let's see, there are four boom cannons. If you go to the... If you go to the right, you'll probably be in range of... Uh, just... Maybe three of those boom cannons, so you can ignore the one on the far left. A little more, um, a little more energy on the right side and less concentration of uh, buildings. So, you gotta watch out when you launch your troops, though, because there's that boom cannon on the far left, and it will take a shot. So I'm gonna launch my medics first, then my last boat, the eighth boat, is that. Uh, tank so the tank does take a hit which is fine you can survive one hit and then I flare him all the way to the far I mean you could use smoke or shock but you don't really need to if you uh, can take a hit don't need to waste the energy so you want to take out those cannons oh there I made a mistake I flared oh luckily I, <laughs> I flared quick enough that uh, I didn't lose any troops on that mistake. Put down some smoke, let my guys heal up. So I did waste a lot of energy with that bad flare there. And almost lost some troops by flaring them into the wrong spot. So I meant to use a gunboat uh, artillery shell or um, something else, but. Uh, Sometimes that happens. You, you meant to, I meant to click on uh, something and it didn't activate it. So I'm going to stare to the right. We've got those three rocket launchers that are uh, hitting your tanks, but the medics uh, can shrug that off. They do a pretty good, uh, pretty good little AOE heal. At least I've read that it's an AOE heal. I just throw down a shock because I had the energy and it was wasn't enough energy to do anything else, so didn't need to use it though. Probably should have saved it. It's always good to save your energy in reserve just in case you need it for a flare or a smoke bomb. You know, for a retreat or something. Okay, on to stage 12. Okay, we've got uh, some stuff on the beach there. I decided to go ahead and take out the two cannons next to the beach. Even though you might not need to right away if you launch your troops, you could just shock, but. To be safe, I'm going to take out the two cannons there. Speed this up. I think I was uh, trying to decide what to do here. Okay, so I finally decide on a plan. I'm going to take out those two cannons. Then deploy my troops. Go ahead and throw down a shock. You gotta be careful. See, I deployed the troop too close to that. I lost a medic and I almost lost a tank there to that flamethrower. So I'm kind of low on energy here. I used a lot of my energy on shocks and whatnot. Still need to take out those two boom cannons. That's really what I need to save my energy for. And I need to regroup my troops because I don't need them up there. I'm going to go to the right. Waste some energy on smoke. Got a few tanks that are uh, damaged quite a bit. Got some boom mines there that... I've neglected to... Uh, get my troops out of the way here. 
Lost a couple medics already. Got one cannon up there in the corner. So I finally go ahead and decide to flare. The flare wasn't in the right spot. Should have been a little bit more, a little bit more t up to the right, closer to the cannon. Some of my troops are headed the wrong direction. They're too close to those boom mines, but uh, I'm out of energy. Ooh, one of the tanks almost, oh, so close. He almost dies. Like, like one hit point away from death, I think. The max boom mine does almost as much, well, I don't remember the exact hit points, but I think it's over 4,500 hit points that the max boom mine will take off. So if your tanks are uh, not at full health and they're less than uh, 4,600, there's a good chance they'll die right away. Alright, stay tuned for uh, stage 13. I'll be posting that next.